K-Dub, K-Dub, K-Dub. Georgia Sports Network. Welcome to play-by-play coverage of the 2005 SEC Championship against LSU. The Georgia Classic Games Series is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Cook's Pest Control and the Centricon System. The unbeatable combination for termite protection. Zaxby's. Stop in today for our famous fingers, wings, and zalots. Georgia United Credit Union. Score your official Bulldogs debit card today at GUCU.org slash Go Dogs. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Teen athletes need specialized care. Take them to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the only nationally ranked program for teens in Georgia. And by Southeast Mortgage, the official home loan lender of the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, inside the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, here's the legendary voice of the Bulldogs, Larry Munson. Get the picture now, LSU in gold helmets, yellow helmets, technically, and gold football pants. They got white jerseys, and the Tigers have a purple number. It's a real dark purple, but they are technically the white and the gold team. I guess we'll call them that tonight. Georgia's in its red tops tonight with the red helmets and the red jerseys. And the white numbers and, of course, the silver britches and a couple of stripes on those pants. And so the dogs in LSU now are only a minute or two away. This is supposed to have been a two or a two-and-a-half point game. We we played three or four of those in a row, I think. And LSU is supposed to be a two-point favorite. You heard the newspaper guy out of LSU say here about 15 minutes ago right on this microphone that he had picked an overtime football game, but he was picking Georgia to win it. He thought LSU made just too many mistakes to win one that tight. And yet he said they had had some luck and they had won a bunch of tight games. All right, LSU runs out on the field to get ready to kick off. And now the dogs go the other way and spread out wide and they want to receive. Georgia and LSU, and this is for a championship now. This is not your usual Saturday afternoon and all that great tailgating. We are now in a championship situation. Chris Jackson will be the kickoff man for LSU. The dogs at the moment have only one man deep standing down on the goal line. They've changed it up a little bit. They've got Remarcus Brown back yeah. there. And that's something new. Remarcus Brown is our deep man. George has got Remarcus Brown deep. He's standing a couple yards in the end zone. The nearest people to him are out on the 20 and the 25. LSU ready to kick off. And the whole place is standing at the moment and waiting for that. Here's the SEC championship. Going to come right at you now. Are the wise guys right? Will we play all night? How tight will it be? High end over end kick. Good kick. Four yards deep in the end zone. And Marcus Brown bursting up the 20. Got hit hard and fumbled the ball on the 26-yard line. We may have recovered. I think we did. They tackled his arm. LSU's got a man injured back on the 11. Where Marcus Brown, who really had some speed, just shot straight up the hash marks. And the ball came right out of his hands, and the dogs have recovered. Well, that was a near disaster, wasn't it? <laughs> And Remarcus showing all kinds of enthusiasm. He just busted right up the gut behind the wedge and got disjointed and coughed up the football. But fortunately, Georgia fell on it at the 26. Gordon Brown is a guy hurt, I think, or Gordon is a guy, a cornerback for LSU is a man down on the 11-yard line on the injury. Georgia has already pulled a surprise. They put a guy back on kick return on a kickoff that they haven't done all year long. And here he came, and the guy was moving. LSU is around the injured player down on the 11-yard line, and the ball game has stopped dead. He has not tried to sit up. He has tried to kind of turn over a couple times, and he can't seem to do it. 
The trainers are still working with him and seem to be looking at his lower extremity from the knee down. Let's see. Now they're going to try to make him sit up and they're trying to hold him up is what they're trying to do. And they're going to pull him up and they get him up on his feet. He doesn't look real energetic, but he's going to try to walk little tiny steps and slowly the injured man is coming off. When we get back in and set up and line up the dogs will be out on the 26 yard line. Got some kind of break there we fumbled a kickoff but recovered. Maybe that's a good omen. Yeah it might be. He was flying coming up the middle. Of that <laughs> he, field, was. Wasn't he? he was. He flying. had a wedge. He was determined and that's I guess what they're looking for. Tyson Browning has been returning kickoffs. Of course he suffered a broken leg a couple of weeks ago so he was out and Brown got the job. Dogs up to the line. Brown a running back. Sutherland the fullback. Shockley's at quarterback. We have three wideouts. LSU is in a four. The linebacker's going out on the corner. Shockley going to turn around, give it to Brown, who goes at left tackle and squirted a little and got him, got himself up to about the 30, 31 yard line. He got about five yards. He had been checked around the 29, and then we gave him a little more push. Vaughn, the linebacker, was a key man for LSU on the stop. The ball is on the 31 and a half. We ran Brown at left tackle, and we got a good push off the left side of our offensive line. And it'll be second down now, four and a half or so to go, not quite five. Dogs at three wide outs. Tight end in motion, flopping from one side to the other. LSU going to blitz up the middle. Toss sweep, get it out to Brown, can't get him in the corner. All that speed, they eat him up on the 28 and bring him down. It Led by like Roten, that big tackle who was the first guy in on him. Yeah, that's where the speed came from, from the, their nose guy, their tackle. Man, he, he looked like a linebacker coming through there. He was so fast to catch Thomas Brown in the backfield. Well, we're gained five and a half, and we turn around and we lose three and a half. And now it's third down. Dogs at three wideouts. Shocker goes back into a shotgun. Third down, eight. LSU almost jumped offside. Shockley comes up and talks to people. Better watch the play clock. Shockley back in the shotgun. Takes it. We protect him. He fires and he missed him. And it'll be an incomplete pass up on the 40th. Crowd thought they saw contact or stuff going out there with the receiver. Yeah, it looked like Sean Bailey was falling down uh, before the ball got to him. There was some incidental contact. I guess that's how the official saw it with LaRon Landry. But there was no flag. Landry is our fine defensive free safety. So we'll have to punt it away. Gordon Ely Kelso will be punting. Skyler Green, the leading kick return guy in the Southeastern Conference, is back there. LSU has eight men shoulder to shoulder tight and jammed in the middle to come after the punter. Fourth and about eight. Snap is good, and the kick is a low line drive spiral off the right side. It's going to bounce for Georgia and roll over the 25 to about the 22 and out of bounds. They got a good bounce. It was not a booming punt at all, but it was a 50-yard punt, and 10 of it was a lady luck thing with a good bounce in a roll. So LSU now will come out and set it up and go to work. We started with a pretty good little rush off at left tackle, and then we went back, and now here's LSU in the 22 with big Jamarcus Russell as their quarterback. And the die and Stelts. Stelts a fullback is a real wide body. LSU on her own 22. Dogs in a four. One of the linebackers came up to say something. Russell the quarterback. Vincent's a running back. Russell back to pass. One man missed him. No, he knocked him off balance. He fell down on the seven. That was Will Thompson who was partially blocked and going down but swung his left arm out and tripped the quarterback deep down inside the 10-yard line, and that puts the Tigers on a second down hole. He was stumbling away from the play, Jamarcus went, when all of a sudden he went down. I thought he had escaped the charge, and the blocker had hit Thompson. LSU back on their own seven-yard line, second down, and a whole bunch of yards to go. Dogs now virtually in a five-man line. Russell underneath. LSU's got a tight end moving in motion. Second down on their own seven. Georgia's linebackers are up complaining that there's movement. Georgia's linebackers came up and really hollering. 
it may have been a run. The, the clock was about to run out. Maybe that's what they were hollering at. I think that's what Tony Taylor was hollering at. Delay a game. Delay a game. Penalty's half the distance. Three and a half yard penalty on LSU. Back to the three and a half yard line. And LSU is way back there now. So the Tigers, after a penalty of half the distance of the goal, are back there on their own. Two and a half. They flip-flop the tight end to unbalance the line. Russell, the big quarterback underneath, and we jump offside at left end, and the whistles blow, and now we'll be penalized. A lot of eagerness, I guess, and also there's an awful lot of noise in this place. Strange start to a ball game. I thought the way we ran the ball in the first down that we were maybe going to be able to start something. And we try to get outside, and they run too fast. Officials are talking. Our left end and skidded way across offside on defense and let's see what LSU's going to do here. Bid ball. Southern Cal All is sides. 31 defense. to 6 on UCLA at the half. Second down. UCLA got behind 24 to nothing, came back, kicked two field goals and then Southern Cal had scored again. It's 31 to 6 out there. LSU now is on their eight and a half. Second down, better than 20. Russell, the quarterback. Running back is Vincent. Dogs are in a five. Big Russell back to pass, standing on the goal line. We're coming on him. He's going to throw it long, and it's tipped incomplete. Off the receiver's hands, and then as it came off, Doucette's hands, Battle and Minter were with him. It hit Minter's hands a moment later. He threw deep down the left side, and the receiver got up in the air, and both of his hands touched that ball. But it bounced high and off, and we had two men double covering him there, and now you're third down and still a long way to go. That was a good play by Minter, the senior. He stripped it right out of his hands. Doucette had it, and uh, before he could tuck it, Minter came in there and knocked it away. LSU and white and gold and up to the line. They are on their own eight and a half, third and long. Dogs in the four. We swap the linebackers. We flip-flop them. Big Russell underneath. Backs are in an eye. Russell going to take it. And he gives it to the tail. They try to run him in the middle, and we just jam it up. Golston. He may only have one arm or hand, but he played that one well. They ran right at him, and Golston, our defensive nose tackle, stopped Vincent. Right on the nine. He got a half yard exactly. And now LSU is going to have to punt it away with fourth down and about 23 to go. LSU's punter is Chris Jackson. Dogs have Thomas Flowers standing back in the 50. Here's the punt. Not real high. Flowers takes it on their 47. Got in trouble. They hit him right away. Then they hit him again. They hit him on the 45, and as he was going back around the 47 or 8, they kept hitting him. Time called there. It'll be the dog's ball on the LSU side of the 50. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Radio Network. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Georgia with good field position. This will be the 28th drive. The Bulldogs have started on the 50 or inside the 50 in SEC games. They've resulted that in 84 points. So the Bulldogs certainly taking advantage of good field position as we send it down to the sidelines and Lauren Smith. A high energy situation here with the defense. You could tell they were really ready to play that first series. I mean, it really was the most enthusiastic uh, energy uh, expression that I've seen all season. Now, but they got to maintain it and they got to uh, make big plays when they settle down. But right now, it's a high energy situation here with the defense. Dogs ball on the LSU 45. It'll be first down there, and Southern will be our full. And now Craig Lumpkin is the tail as we go on offense. We're in an eye with two wideouts. Shockley underneath. Shockley. Going to fake it and come back to pass. And we're going to go for a long, long, long pass. Touchdown! Massaquah ran by everybody down that left side. Bailey. 
Sean Bailey down the left side. He got a three yard lead on his man as he was crossing the 20. What a perfect pass from DJ Shockley. Never broke stride. Bailey made a beautiful over the shoulder catch. Shockley really threw that ball. The two to try the extra point. The two sticks it up, and the kick is good, and the dogs lead. Seven to nothing. Here comes LSU up to the line. Russell underneath. I got three wideouts. Vincent's the tailback. Russell fakes it. Bootlegs out to the right. We're coming on him as he fires a pass. Complete up on the 33, and we knock him down in the 36. Doucette, the wide receiver. Just as one of our linemen hit him, Russell laid a strike. Paul Oliver made the tackle on the play, and LSU will have a first down. And the ball they put on the 36-yard line. Dogs lead 7 to nothing on a 45-yard strike. LSU huddling. And the Tigers now up to the ball. Russell under the center. Running back is Justin Vincent. LSU has three receivers. Four, really, but they're all in close to the line. Russell underneath. Toss sweep, and they're going to get Vincent outside, but somebody came up and hit him back on the 33. Jarvis Jackson, the young linebacker. Went toss sweep to Vincent. He's a guy that hurt us in a title game here a couple of years ago. He came out to the right, and the dogs read it very well, and the linebacker got him back on the 33-yard line. We're leading 7 to nothing early, and I mean it is early. LSU huddling. They are second down in about 13. We played six minutes into the quarter. LSU's big Russell going to drop back and go into a shotgun. Running back Vincent next to him. Four wideouts spread out. Russell takes it. He's back. Looks and looks. Fires. And we intercept it on our 48-yard line. Demario Minter, who read it, caught the ball, and then fell down with it. And the dogs have intercepted the pass from Russell. We will have the ball again in excellent field position. We've picked one. We're leading 7 to nothing, and now we've intercepted it midfield. Demario Mentor with his second pick of his career. His first came in uh, Tennessee earlier this year in a huge situation, and now here in the championship game for number two. Georgia first down in their own 49. Danny Ware is now the running back. Sutherland is a full. Shockley underneath. We are on our own 49. LSU moving in the middle of the line. We're trying to give it to Ware. He's got a hole at the tackle. He's going to fight his way. He fumbled the ball after he went down, but I think the whistle blew on their 44. Danny Ware got six or seven. Oliver, the defensive end, made the stop on the play. The ball came out while he was sitting on the ground in a sitting position, and LSU was all over him. Now Ware is out, and Lumpkin is back in. We are second down now in about two and a half for a first down. Close to the three. Dogs on the LSU 44. We're in an eye. We split a man out on each side. We're inside of their 45-yard line. Shockley going to fake it and run, and they're coming on him. His pass is going out of bounds and over our bench. Dogs a third down and a short three. We are on the LSU 44. With an interception, we have excellent field position. We're trying to get a first down off of it. Pope and Milner, both the tight ends are in. We have one receiver out wide left. Shockley underneath, almost dropped the ball, but he handed it off. The Lumpkin who fought his way to the 40 for a first down. Lumpkin got four yards at right tackle. We're not easy yards. Landry, the free safety, came up to help the linebackers on the play. George has got a first down on the LSU 40, and we're leading 7 to nothing. We threw a long touchdown pass immediately when we got the ball early tonight. But it is still early tonight. We break two receivers out on the left and one to the right. Shockley back in the shotgun. We're on the LSU 40-yard line. We're leading 7 to nothing early. Dogs in red, LSU in white and yellow. Snap to Shockley. But a pass out in the flat. It is complete to Massacraw, the 40, the 35. Massacraw got it down to about the 31 where they got it. LSU had a defender out there. It ran right behind Massacraw and never saw the ball. 
Yeah, Ronnie Prude. I, I was thinking he was reading that play all the way, just didn't yeah. get there in time, and, and that was a tight pass. If Prude catches that, yeah. he's gone for 60 the other way. Yeah, I thought he had seen it, and that's what he was going to try to do. So it's second down and about two. Dog's got a big eight on that one. And we are on the LSU 32-yard line, second down. We're just outside of the 32. Got three wide outs. Shocker going to give it to Lumpkin at left tackle. He fought his way, got to the three. If he got across, he'll have a first down. From up here, he's inches across. He went at left tackle and left end. LSU's big Kyle Williams to tackle 95 was on the bottom of the play, and it is a first down, and the ball is across the 30. Georgia trying to knock on the door early, and we're leading 7 and up. And this is for a championship once again. First down there on the LSU 29 and a half. Shockley back in a shotgun. Three wideouts. LSU offside for a moment at the nose tackle. Shockley backs up again. He's still on the shotgun. Takes it and drops back and looks. And he's going to go. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown in the right corner. Sean Bailey again, this time in the other corner. He caught the ball, and one foot came down inbounds. Boy, he, did, he was, what, 20 feet out in front. Boy, did they ever bite on that play fake. My goodness. Landry just got toasted. 13 to nothing. 29 and a half yards. Katu to try the extra point. LSU in a 10-man line, and the kick is up, and the kick is going to go good. And we are leading 14 to nothing, but it is early. Timeout. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Radio Network. Now they got three wide outs. Big Russell underneath. Got a man in motion. Russell going to give it again to Carey. Get him out wide. He's going to get to the corner. We're going to chase him, but he might have himself a first down up around the 30 where he went out of bounds. He came out wide to his left. Brandon Miller, the linebacker, had a corner on him and couldn't quite get to him. He went out of bounds with it as he got to the 30. Let's see where they put it down. From up here was the first down. They just haven't set the ball down yet. Now they'll, they'll do it now, and it's first down by the length of the football over the 30. And they didn't have to measure it. They split the ends out, LSU and white and yellow. Trying to get back in quickly because we got up on top of him quickly. Big Russell points at his receivers. He's under his center. Russell going to take it and drop back. Throws hard over in the right flat. Complete and our secondary hits a guy right off the bat. I think Jennings hit him immediately. He fumbled after the play. And there's a pile up on a 42 and the dogs want possession of the ball. Tim Jennings, a guy that made the tackle. And it was a pretty tough collision after about an 11 or 12 yard pass. Dogs thought they had the ball. Officials are acting like they haven't made up their mind. They got the football out on the 42 though. It's a first down. Apparently they're saying they blew it dead. Jennings really hit him. He twisted his whole body around after Jennings hit him and tried to pull his legs out and get going and couldn't. LSU's got a first down up on the 42, and the Tigers are moving. We've got them down 14 to nothing. Russell underneath, and an official blows a whistle. Let's see. They're going to review it. That'll be interesting. Take a longer look at it. They review yeah. them all, but they want to get this one right. All right. Maybe that's what they are going to do, huh? We're leading 14 to nothing. Remember what LSU did with Arizona State early. Here's the really got down. Here's the replay of that last one, Larry. If we take a look at it. Jennings was holding up Bow, and then Trey Battle came in. And it, I guess what they want to see well, were his knees down, or did he have a knee down on the ground when before Battle hit him as he's still trying to scramble for yardage? Uh, he wasn't, oh, actually. He came know. down. His bottom sat on Jennings. Tim Jennings' helmet. He was so sitting. he hadn't made contact with the ground yet, according no. to that replay. He and then was, the ball came out. He was sitting on Jennings' helmet and then got hit, and then the ball squirted out after now, Greg Blue hit him, and we recovered. Now, that should be a fumble unless they blew the whistle. But uh, apparently that's not a factor because that, that would have killed everything at that point. But according to that replay that we just looked at, that should be a fumble, and it should be Georgia's football. We're leading 14 to nothing. 
We've hit them with a real long one. We've hit them with a medium one. And we got a break on the opening kickoff when we fumbled because we recovered. After further review, the ball was deemed caught. Forward progress was stopped. Pushed backwards. It was a catch on the field. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we're looking at. <laughs> it didn't go our way. And it'll be LSU's ball still on the 42-yard line. Well, they were looking as to whether or not it was a catch, not whether it was a fumble. So yeah. I guess we were looking at two different things. Probably huh? were. Tigers up to the line with big Russell underneath. They're in and out. He's got a slot out to his left. Nobody split out to the right. Russell talks to his fullback. Gets back down under the center. It's first down. Going to take it. Going to give it to the tailback who drives at his left tackle and got about three or four yards. Carey running hard to his left, which is the right side of our line. Greg Blue came up to help Jarvis Jackson, the linebacker. They set the ball down an inch or two or three inside of the 45. LSU is going to be sucking down and seven. LSU's behind 14 to nothing. They scored four touchdowns in the fourth quarter in the first game of the year and rallied to beat Arizona State. They were really getting whipped until they really got on them. Shotgun. Big Russell is going to run with blocking. Coming out wide to the right. Skyler Green had come in. Took a direct snap, and Skyler Green swung wide out to the right side. And they did a quick snap. And on the sweep, he got it to about our 46 for a first down. Jeff Owens, a young tackle from behind, pulled him down. Suddenly, Skyler Green, the kick returner and a wide receiver, was in, and they lined up. He took a direct snap, and with two blockers, they pulled a sweep wide right. And now Big Russell is back in at the quarterback, though he was still on the field on a sweep. First down, LSU moving. They're on the dogs, 46. With the eye, the tailback goes in motion. Russell takes it, drops back the pass for the Tigers. Fires. We knock it right out of his hands. He had it and dropped it. A die. A tailback on our 41 had it, and Demario Minner hit him so hard the ball just popped out of there. And it'll be second down. We're still leading 14 to nothing. We have hit Sean Bailey twice. 45 yards and 29 and a half yards. Good yeah. stick by Minter and a kind of a strip over the over his right side, outside portion of his right shoulder as well as Minter made him cough it up after he caught it. LSU second and 10. They're 46 yards away from our goal line. Big Russell underneath. Got three receivers, four receivers, two on each end, but they're in close. He fakes. He bootlegs to the right. He's wide open. He's looking. He fires. And his pass is thrown low and incomplete on the 25, right near the sideline. Threw it too low, skidded on the ground. We had the receiver covered, but the ball was really low, and there may be a flag way back. Let's see. It's Officials back in are the, talking. Back in the Georgia secondary is where the flag was dropped. Three officials got together up around the 45 yard line, and now here we come. We'll get the sign. Holding defense, number 43. The pass is a forward pass across the line. The hold was on an eligible receiver. Therefore, it's 10 yards and an automatic first down. One of our linebackers holding, and LSU with a penalty gets an automatic first down, and they are down in the Georgia 36, and the Tigers are coming down the field. It's 14 to nothing. LSU huddles very close to the line of scrimmage, by the way. Tigers up to the ball. Big Russell under the center. He's got two receivers split left. Backs are in a tight eye together. Now the tailback moves. And our defensive line is moving. And they run right hard at their left guard and drive it to our 31. They had power and had a hole. Hester, the number two fullback. On that carry on the play, Jackson stopped him. Will Thompson, the end, stopped him. Tigers with a good-looking long drive going here, and now they are just outside of our 31-yard line. It's 14 to nothing. We have five defensive backs in. LSU is on our 31. It is second down and five. Carey is back in at the tailback for LSU. The quarterback, Russell, under the center. Tight end moving right to left. Going to give it to Carey, and somebody got him from behind, blitzing off the corner. Demario Minter 
The cornerback came in from one end and caught the tailback from behind as he was trying to go to his left. DeMario came up on his back. And a loss of a couple of yards on the play and the ball back out on the 33. Boy, Minter's having a heck of a first quarter. He's had a couple of pass breakups, an interception, and now on a blitz he drops carry for a loss. He's playing pretty well here in the first. Third down, LSU, third down, about seven. The ball's outside of our 33 a little. They've got to go down to our 26 for a first down. Adai is now the tailback. Shotgun. Big Russell, the quarterback. Now he's back underneath. Three wide outs and a man moving. Russell back to throw, looking. Throws a bullet to a man, open it. It's complete on her 17 down to the 13. They hit bowl the wide receiver. Drake Blue hit him a moment later, and a big crucial first down, and LSU's threatening to score. And Jamarcus Russell has brought them down the field, throwing that football. And LSU with a long drive going here now. They have gone better than 60 yards of this, something like 66 or 7. They are on Georgia's 13. Did we expect those two bombs were going to hang on fat and juicy and stand there all night? 14 to nothing. Here they are. They're in an eye. They got everybody in, only one receiver wide. Carey is the tailback. We blitz right up the middle. They give it to Carey. He's fighting at left tackle from behind. Jackson, the linebacker, was hanging on to him as he tried to go off to the left side. And the play stopped right around the 12. He didn't get much at all, but he got a little. We blitzed that time, by the way. But the play leaned a little left, and the blitz was coming off the right side. LSU is on our 12-yard line, second and nine. LSU is behind 14 to nothing. We have stunned them with two passes, one of them a long 45-yarder, the other one a 29-yarder. LSU now two wideouts right, nobody left. They're in an eye, they're sucking down. Right down there in front of our goalpost. Russell underneath, going to take it and come back to pass. We're coming on him. They set up a screen. It is complete to carry on the 10. From behind, he's pulled down around the four. Knee hit the ground on the six, they say. And they set up a screen, and they developed it well. And carry the tailback, a little 5'6", 197 guy. Had a couple blockers with him. And LSU now is sitting on our six-yard line where they will be third down and how much? Not much. Third down, and they got about three to go. They are on the six. They got to get to the three and a half. And that's going to be the end of the quarter, and the dogs lead 14 to nothing. There's LSU third and three, and they are on our six. We got extra defensive back in there. It's 14 to nothing. We hit Bailey Long in the left corner. We hit him fairly long in the right corner. LSU's big Russell, the quarterback, going to get under the center. The backs are in an eye. A die in motion. He had been the tail. Russell back to pass. Now he's going to run. He runs straight ahead, and I don't know if he reached a goal line, but he got to the one as we hit him. Dogs hit him down in the one. He ran straight ahead on a quarterback draw, and that's a great big body, 6'6", six, six and 252. And he'll have a first down and goal to go, and all they'll need will be a foot or two. Georgia has a guy up slow who took a pretty good lick. Now he can't. He's going down. Golston, the big nose guard, has gone down now. And three trainers run out to him. Ball is on the one. It's goal to go for LSU. It's 14 to nothing, Georgia, but they are down there close. Well, Jamarcus Russell, uh, Russell showed some great patience that time. He uh, took his time on the snap count, waited for that play to develop, and when it opened up, he just sneaked it in there for five yards and just kind of leaned his way in. He's got that big old body, so it's going to take a while for him to fall forward as he almost got it across the goal line, but he had the ball tucked in deeply and nearly had it stripped oh, as Trey yeah. Battle. We look at a replay. Trey yeah. Battle was yanking on it, and he almost lost that thing. Yeah, he pulled the ball down from his waist, way down by his thighs. He was on the ground kind of sliding. Golston is up now and walking off under his own power. He had tough luck with injuries this year, right in the middle of the year. The ball is on the one. It'll be goal to go for LSU, and we are very, very early here in the second quarter. LSU has played a whole bunch of close, tight games this year, a whole bunch of them. LSU up to the line. Adai is a running back. 
Hester is the fullback. Russell, the quarterback underneath. First down, they got four cracks and they only need about a yard or maybe only two feet. And they go hard at right tackle and they got to about the three inch line. They pushed and got a couple of feet and it wasn't enough. That was Hester, the fullback. They got a couple of wide body fullbacks. It looked like he got the ball on the line or on the goal line, broke the plane, but they are claiming that his knee was down before that happened. So it'll be sucking on inches. LSU down there, they are inside our half yard line. We are in the second quarter in the title game, and we're leading. LSU second down and about to get on the scoreboard. We're leading 14 to nothing. They're right outside the goal line. That might be the most animated I've seen Mark Rick since he's been here. He was emphatic that that should have been a penalty. LSU with Big Russell underneath. They're in a power situation. Everybody close. Russell keeps it. Goes at left tackle. And we may. No, they don't. They give him the touchdown. George is mad. Battle really got mad and jumped at that. He hit his left tackle and fell with his body across. And it's 14 to 6. And the dogs thought they had stopped him. Well, they, they didn't blow the whistle this time on that forward progress thing. Russell underneath going to take it and drop back the throw. We're coming on him. They set up a screen over in the flat, and we come up and read it and knock him down in the 33. Benson went over in the flat to the left this time. We had two or three red jerseys there. Jennings may have been the first man there. Jackson, the linebacker, was also over there. And the ball is put down on the 34. And it'll be third down now. LSU's going to be third down and almost, well, about 15 and a half to go. It's 14 to 7, the dogs lead. We struck them twice early with Shockley throwing bombs in particular. But now it's 14 to 7, they're quickly out of the huddle and they put three wide outs. And the die is now back in at the running back. Third down for LSU, snap to Russell, he's back looking. We're coming on him, he's throwing it right down the middle and it is incomplete because he dropped it on our 32. He was partially open, early due set. Up reaching, he might be hurt, had the ball off his hands and went down. As he came down, he bumped in the blue, but the receiver is down. Doucette is down around our 30 yard line, and the LSU benches come out to get him. It looked like he cut between the two defenders. Uh, it was blue and somebody else. I know, maybe it was Jennings or Battle, but Jennings it was as I look at a replay now and got his hands on the ball, but as soon as he went down, he grabbed either at his right knee or his right ankle. LSU is going to have a fourth and 15. And they are going to have to kick it away, but they've got a man down, and he's very important to their offense. Yeah, they've had some injury problems as well. Their two backs, as uh, Glenn Gilbo told you in the pregame, a, a die, and we haven't seen him carry the football yet. He's been in the ball game, but he hasn't run the football. He's been banged up, and even Vincent's been banged up a little bit, and he's kind of playing like it today. Three carries for minus six yards. I don't think that's good news at all for LSU and early Doucette. When he went down, you could see him beating the ground with his fist, so I know that doesn't look good. The doctors here think that could be an ACL. Ooh. Yeah, that's early not Doucette, good. Early the wide receiver who's been a big figure in their offense has come off the field and LSU waiting to punt their kicker walking back and forth 15 yards behind the line and they wait to be released they are fourth down and about 15 and a half and on their own 34 and a half LSU in a punting situation so we load up the middle and we decide we might take a shot at them we're coming off the corner but they pick up and they block it it's on the 23 LSU is going to pick it up we're going to tackle them on about the 14 yard line Somebody shot up in there. You think it was McClendon? It was. Boy, they, we blitzed a man off the corner. They blocked him so hard. He, I don't know how he got up, but somebody else shot up the middle. We decoyed him, I think, with that blitz off the corner. We blocked the punt. We've got the ball on the LSU 15 and a half. We're leading 14 to 7. Georgia down in the shadow of that goalpost trying to get another one now. Suddenly it's turned around. We made a great defensive play. 
Milton and Lumpkin are the backs. LSU wants Act Blitz in the middle. Toss sweep to Lumpkin. Trying to get out to the left corner and they yank him down on the 13. He only got two and a half. Lumpkin tried to come wide left. Stelts, the strong safety, was one of the men on the stop. Trying to take a look at the film and see who blocked it. It was Brian McClendon. Yeah, McClendon. You said it. He got a stomach full of football, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. Ball on the 13. Second down, a short eight, maybe seven and a half. Call it eight. Shockley underneath. Backs are in an eye. LSU with five men on the line. Shockley going to take it. Give it to Lumpkin. Drive him at left guard. Drive him down to about the seven, I think. Maybe a yard shy of a first down. Hey, he got a push and some blocking on that left side over there. Vaughn, the middle linebacker, and Stelts, the strong safety of LSU, had to make the stop. The ball is down on. It's inside of the seven. Well, Lumpkin that time riding in the wake of big Max Gene Gillis, who was just bullying his way down to the seven. He was right there with Lumpy. Third down now and a long yard to go for a first down. Dogs just inside the LSU seven. Man in motion, McClendon, who went way over to the left. We have two receivers right. Now Lumpkin goes in motion to the right. Shockley underneath, fakes. Look, Shockley's going to run. He's got room. He's going to get to the 5 4 3 2 touchdown. We had men moving all over the place. That may have sounded like an easy run, but it really wasn't. He had a guy breathing on the back of his shoes. All five of those steps, but we got a score. He went in the left corner near the near the end zone corner. Well, it's 20 to 7. Katu will try the extra point. And he sticks it up in the air. Good. And the dogs go up back out in front by two touchdowns again. It's 21 to 7. Take a quick SEC timeout here on the Georgia Bulldog Radio Network. LSU on her own 20, 80 yards away. We've got them down 21 to 7. Three wideouts. Big Russell, the quarterback underneath. Carey is the tailback. Russell going to take it, gives it to Carey, who runs through a hole right up the middle. He got five yards quick. He got stopped primarily. Goldston hit him. Anderson and Goldston, and we got a man down. Is it Anderson down? It's uh, Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller down. Dog's got a linebacker down. He was hurt late in the year when he was virtually leading a team in tackles. He missed a game or two and came back. He's down now. LSU shot it straight ahead and got a good block from the right guard and the right tackle and got the ball out to the 25. Miller has rolled over on his back. Ron Corson and a couple other trainers are down there talking to him. They're monkeying with his leg, his left knee or left shin or ankle. I'm trying to see what they're doing. Lauren, what do you got? Don't know what's happening out there, but if he's out for this game, that's a tough loss for Georgia. His nickname is Baby, Larry. Willie Martinez nicknamed him Baby. Baby Boss Bailey. That's what he looks like as a linebacker. We're looking at a replay. He got yeah. rolled on by, uh, looked like Golston by a teammate. His his left leg uh, didn't look good on that it, as Golston kind of rolled him up. Was it Anderson? Anderson rolled him up then on the uh, on the tackle attempt, and his knee kind of went inward. To get him up on his feet. He's going to try and walk, but he's not walking much. Miller trying to come out and trying to favor. His left leg, he's walking a little stiff-legged. All right, second down. We have five defensive backs in. LSU's up there on their own 25. We're leading 21 to 7. Their tailback is Carey. Russell, the center, underneath. Three men split out. Russell, play-action fake. Back to throw. 
Right down the middle to a man wide open, and we hit him right away around the 50. Trey Battle hit him right away. David Jones, a big tight end, was wide open on the 50. They threw a 25, 26 yard strike. And they are on our 49, and it'll be first down there. Here comes LSU back. You block a punt, and you make such a play, and you come up, and you run your lead out to 21 to 7, and all of a sudden, here they come on you. LSU on our 49, first down. The Tigers up to the line. They split two men out left, nobody right. The backs are in an eye. Russell behind the center, going to take it and come back to pass again. We're coming on him. We got him trapped out in the flat from behind. Somebody got him way back around the 40. Marcus Howard, the defensive left end. We had two other men who were fighting blockers all around him, and Howard got him from behind. Deep loss. Took the ball all the way back inside the 41, just outside of the 40. A good coverage by the Georgia secondary, too. Russell didn't have anybody to throw it to, and that's a case where he it looked like he had enough time. He's got to be able to get rid of that football, but instead he gets sacked back on around the 40, 41-yard line. Second down and about 20. We're leading 21-7. to 7. LSU, one man left. They split two men right. Big Russell back in a shotgun. Second and long, he's back to throw. And he fires to a man open up on the 45. He gets to the 50. And he got it back to the original starting line of scrimmage to our 49. Blue and Jennings hit the receiver, Bo, who got three or four extra yards as he came up and got it back to our 49. And that's where they started this series of downs. Got about six minutes left and a half. It's third and ten. They're all outside of our 49. Atlanta Journal says that Southern Cal is 52 to six on UCLA at the end of the third now, with less than a minute to go. Here we're 21 to seven, and they are third and ten, and they are on our 49 and a half. Snap to Russell. Russell looking to a man open low, but a good catch. They're going to rule no catch. I guess he scooped at Davis. Caught a ball complete on our 37. He scooped and rolled it. And it'll be a big first down. Perfect strike about 13 yards. They're throwing it right in the middle. Good catch by Davis as we looked at the replay. Got his hands under the ball before it hit the ground. It ball did not hit the ground. Nice catch. LSU first down on the Georgia 37. And the Tigers are coming. We're leading 21 to 7. First half still. Play action, handoff to the tail. He came across. Tony Taylor, the linebacker, hit him first. Joseph Adai had a hole at left tackle. Flag down late. Something's going on. Here comes the penalty. They had a good power shot at their left tackle. And now let's catch. Oh, there's a couple flags down. Let's see what they're on. Officials are talking. Neither team has retreated yet. Dead ball. Personal foul, late hit, number 64, offense. Penalty is 15 yards Ooh. from the end of the run, and it will be second down. LSU had gained six yards on the play, but here comes a big, fat 15-yard personal foul penalty on the Tigers. Way back out to the vicinity of our 46. We're leading 21-7. to It's getting a little late in the half. LSU second down. They got about 18, 19 to go. That four receivers standing up close to the line, two on the right and two on the left. Russell, the quarterback, is underneath. He takes it and drops back. We blitz a man up the middle. We blitz a man on the corner. We're chasing him. He's running out in the 45 to the 50, and he's going to step out of bounds near our 40-yard line. We chased him in a big, wide circle back behind the line. Moses was one of them. And we couldn't quite get to him. Young Jeff Owens, a young tackle chasing him. He stepped out on the dog's 42-yard line. And now you're going to be third down and about 16, 17 or so to go. Russell almost got caught deep behind the line. Dogs make a couple of changes. LSU... Puts three men out on the right. 
Russell's going in a shotgun. Third down, about 16 to go for the first down. They're on our 42 and a half. We jumped offside of the right tackle. I am with the snap. We'll have a penalty coming as they stop the play. Crowd was really making a lot of noise. And our defensive lineman jumped across, and the official immediately dropped that flag. We're leading 21 to 7. We blocked their punt a few minutes ago, but here they come. Penalty on LSU. Ball start Ball on the 76 offense. Comes five off. yards from through this spot, still third down. Their left tackle, offensive tackle, made a false start, and it's a five yard penalty. Takes it back out to our 47. They got to get all the way to the 27 for a first down or just inside. LSU's third down now and about 20. One man left, three men out to the right. Jamarcus Russell, with all that strength in that arm, is back in a shotgun. Third and long. Takes it and drops back and looks and looks. And now he's going to throw a long strike down the left side, down in the end zone. Incomplete. Defender up and then the receiver a moment later behind him and the ball fell kind of between them. Davis, yeah, it dropped right down by him as he was going down in a sitting position. Jennings and Blue were down there. Russell threw it a high, long spiral, about five yards into the end zone. We're looking at it now. Right through his arms, it looked like, didn't it? Yeah, looking at the replay, it did. It, it, it did go right through his arms. And maybe just the fact that Blue got a hand up over there kind of messed him up a little bit. But uh, Davis should have caught that for a touchdown. <laughs> All right, George's ball. Annie Ware is in at the tail. We are inside our 14 first down. We're leading 21 to 7. They jump offside. They jump off again. Now, let's see. Our quarterback, meanwhile, had already then kneeled. We are pointing at LSU. LSU is acting like they expect to have a call. Let's see. Offsides, defense. Number 98 is in the neutral zone at the snap. The five, penalty's five yards. Five yard the penalty spot, on LSU. Still first down. LSU absorbs another penalty, takes the ball out to the 23 and a half. We split a receiver right and left. Backs are in an eye. And Shockley's going to hand it to Danny Ware, who cuts back at the tackle, fights to hang on to the ball, got it over the 20 to maybe the 21 and a half. Landry, the free safety, had a clean tackle and a hold on him down around his ankles. And the official puts it back on the 21. Georgia leads 21 to 7. We run two more receivers out and take some people out, and we run two more in. Danny Ware, the tail. LSU virtually in a five man front again. Shockley underneath, sucking down, and about two or two and a half for the first down. Late in the half, we're leading 21 to 7. Shockley, take it, give it to Ware. Look at the hole of the tackle. Somebody hanging on to his shirt from behind. He'll pull him down. He crossed the 25 and got the first down. It was Jeffus Jackson, the cornerback, who was hanging on to the neck of his shirt and wouldn't let him turn and run. But it will be a first down up on the 27-yard line. Well, Dennis Rowland had a pretty good block on Jackson, but Jackson had his, his hand around uh, the collar of Danny Ware around that jersey. Oh, for the 70s in those tearaway jerseys, Ware might have been yeah. gone. Dogs get a first down. They're on their own 27. Three wideouts. Shockley going to hand it to Ware. He bounced outside, and the linebackers hit him on the 32, but he got about four. He might have five. Ball in the middle linebacker was one of the key men that made the stop and was the first guy that hit him. Zenon, the cornerback, had come up to help also. Ball on the 32. We're going to be second and five. Georgia leads 21 to 7, and it is very late now in the half. Dogs in an eye. We've got a short five to go. And so we're going to run where again, this time at right tackle, and they hit him hard on the 34 and drove him back. He only penetrated two yards, and he needed to get four and a half. Oliver, the left end, was playing it very well. Official will set it right down on the 34, and George has got third down and about three, but not quite three. 
We're leading 21 to 7. Got a couple minutes left in the half, though. Anything can happen. Break a man wide right, a man wide left. LSU's in a five man front. They're out with the receivers. Shockley is in a shotgun. We need a couple of yards. Shockley talking to everybody. Maybe he saw something and changes something. I don't know. Snap to Shockley. Going to run straight ahead. He's trying to get a first down, and he fell forward awfully close. I think he got it on the 37 the way he fell. They grabbed him on the 35, and he still needed to, but he was leaning forward. Roten and Williams, two big tackles were involved, but, yes, somebody was giving us a big push. Our center, Tanner, was involved on in that mob, pushing as Shockley fell forward. He got it up across. Yeah, first down on the 37 and a half. So Shockley got us the first down. 95 seconds left to go on the half, and we are leading 21 to 7. McClendon is in and out as a receiver a lot. Georgia first down, late in the half, leading 21 to 7. Two wide outs. Shockley is in a shotgun, takes a snap. They're coming on him. Fires a bullet low, incomplete up on the 45. Intended for McClendon, who dove on his chest and couldn't touch the ball. They had a pretty good blitz coming right up the middle and coming after Shockley. It'll be second down. He only got 70 seconds in the half. We're leading 21 to 7. Massaqua has come back in. Sean Bailey has come back in at the receivers. Georgia up to the line. Bailey and McClendon split way out to the right. Massaqua to the left. First down. We are on our own 38 or 37 and a half. Shockley is in a shotgun. Takes a snap. Follows the blocking. Comes out. Spins away and fights. And they pull him down on the 42. And they grabbed his jersey there from behind also. Stelts the strong safety. Made the play. But the dogs got about four on it. Let's see what they're going to give it. Georgia, it's our first timeout. We take timeout with 63 seconds left and a half and the ball on the 42. And we're going to have about a second down and about seven and a half or so. Let's take a quick SEC timeout on the Georgia Bulldog Radio Network. This is Lauren Smith on the sideline. Uh, thought the news on Brandon Miller might be encouraging. Ron Corson first said it's a sprain. We'll evaluate him at the half and see if he can play in the second half. Now he just came up to me and told me he is out for the game. He will not be back. We will be third down on about six and a half to go on a big third down play late in the half. The dogs would like to chug on down the field using their timeouts and try to get a field goal or something out of it if they could. We're leading 21 to 7 but you always need points. Remember LSU and our conference has rallied and rallied and rallied again this year in the fourth quarter to save themselves and they played overtimes also. Brown and Sutherland are the backs. They are flanking Shockley. We are in a shotgun. Shockley takes a snap. They're coming on him. So he's running to the right. He's got a little room. He tries to turn around and cut back. Gets a couple blocks. Somebody comes up. He yanks him down. No game. He tried to reverse and come back. And Chevis Jackson, the corner, came up and got him from behind. It'll be fourth down. And now you're about 46 seconds or so to go. LSU, LSU now stops the clock with 46 seconds. And we're going to have to punt to him on fourth down and six and a half. Shockley twice during that scramble had some blockers and room in front of him and both times the speed caught up and he would turn and circle back and start it all over again we're leading 21 to 7 we struck early and quick tonight and grabbed 14 points immediately in the first quarter now it's 21 to 7 and a block kick was the one that gave us that third touchdown it'll be fourth down when they let us kick it away We hit a bomb deep to Bailey in the left corner early tonight. Then we hit a 29-yarder to Bailey again, this time in the right corner. Then we blocked the punt about a quarter and a half later. And Shockley scrambled out around the left side six or seven yards and got it in the corner to score. Taking a look at the first half numbers, we'll give you the the early numbers before we get to the half. 144 yards rushing or excuse me, total yards, 144 total for Georgia, 114 for LSU. 
The rushing numbers are, are really down for both teams, although Georgia with the edge, 62 yards on 18 carries. LSU just 14 yards rushing on 19 attempts, and thanks in large part to a couple of big sacks by the Georgia defense, knocking uh, Jamarcus Russell back for a loss of 26 yards on those two sacks. This could be an important punt here. Gordon Neely, Kelso in our kicker. LSU's going to load up the line and come after him. And they have Skyler Green, the number one return man in our conference, back there waiting for the punt. Dog's going to try and stop the Tigers from getting to the kicker. Fourth down and about six. Gordon Neely Kelso inside of the 30. Gets a good snap. Boy, somebody got close. Long kick. Holy smokes. He kicked the devil out of that ball. It bounces on the goal line. <laughs> comes back to about the two or three, and we dive on that football. <laughs> Man, I don't know what he put on the ball, but it hit six inches outside the goal line. Bounced straight up in the air, and we dove on it between the two and the three-yard line. Saw him chalking up his foot before that kick. That had some English on it when it hit. Boy, he really kicked the ball, Man, didn't he? That's a great punt. Man. My goodness. 56 yards, Hondo said, was a punt with no return. And the clock is down to 34 seconds. Now, when everything's breaking right for you, you lull yourself to sleep. LSU with the ball in their own three, first down. They got a little over a half a minute in the half. They're trailing 21 to seven. Only one receiver out deep, they're in an eye. Big Russell underneath. Going to hand it at the tailback. Well, cuts back to the right, and the defense going to swarm him on the four, and he got a yard. Joseph Adai slanted in at his right tackle or our left, and we had three or four red jerseys there led by Golston and Moses, and the clock is going to run down now, I think, with the half. It'll be second down for LSU on their own four. And the half is going to end. They're going to let the clock run out. LSU's not going to run a play. That's going to be the end of the half. And the dogs are leading 21 to 7 at the end of the half. And I bet you think it's over. Tim Jennings intercepts, returns it for a touchdown. His fourth pick this year, 10th of his career. Georgia's second defensive touchdown this season. Charles Johnson recovered a fumble in the end zone back in the Boise State game. That was a touchdown, and now Jennings makes it 34-7 with that interception return force. This sideline is electrified, and it was Tim Jennings' interception that did it, Larry. The players were watching closely, and they saw him break on the ball like he did against Georgia Tech, and they went nuts. So now, if you remember what Coach Rick said in the pregame show, if he had one thing or one position he wanted to really play well, it would be the defense. The defense, by the way, as we get ready to kick off, just went down and halfway and looked at our student body in the band and made them all stand up and cheer at them. We will kick off to LSU. They have a die, and Skyler Green is the deep men. We're ahead 34 to 7. We're barely into the fourth quarter, remember. Virginia Tech, Florida State, 3 to 3. And they are in the second quarter. Long kickoff, deep. Boy, well, LSU again starting on the 20 yard line. They've done that three times or four times now. LSU's starting field position has been pretty brutal as Georgia's defense and punt team has kept and kickoff team has kept them backed up they started on their the best position of the night has been their 22 yard line to start they've also had a drive start at the seven and a half the 10 the 18 and they had a punt blocked and Georgia ended up taking that in for a touchdown a few plays later LSU slots right there in an eye number two quarterback Matt Flynn running the club and runs a toss sweep as he pitches it out to Vincent and Vincent got outside of the left corner and maybe got five before we rolled him out don't know if he went out of bounds or not Goldston part of the tackle Jarvis Jackson part of the tackle 34 to 7 we jumped them early 14 to nothing long pass to Bailey and then another one almost that long LSU with the ball on the 24, not the 25. Green is now the quarterback. Skyler Green 
They ran this in the first quarter. He takes a snap directly. He starts a wide sweep right. Now he's coming back left over the 30 to 35. And will go out of bounds around the 40. He got a first down. That real quick receiver and running back started a wide sweep by taking a direct snap and then turned and came back. And from the 24, he had he got a good gain out of it. And got a first down up around the 41. That's their longest run of the night. He has both of their longest runs of the night. It's nine yards and now 17. West Virginia 14, South Florida 3. They only got about a minute to go on the first half on that one. Flynn underneath. Fires incomplete. We tried to deflect the pass and he threw it too high. Intended for Skylar Green out in the right flat. And that was Danny Burden Wheeler who got up in the air. Jumped right in front of him and forced him to throw it too high. Incomplete in the right flat, second down. Dogs lead 34 to 7 early in the fourth quarter. LSU up to the line. They got four receivers out. Remember, they scored four touchdowns in the fourth quarter against Arizona State when they were getting killed. Flynn back. We're chasing him, and he fires and throws it over our bench, and it is incomplete. We had three, four guys way back inside of their 30 coming at him, especially the ends, Thompson and Moses. LSU's going to be third down now on their own 41. Dogs lead 34 to 7. Gant has come back into the defensive line. LSU breaks three receivers out. They are in a shotgun. Their starting quarterback, Jamarcus Russell, has been gone about a half a quarter now, or maybe longer. Snap to Flynn, who retreats and looks. We're coming on him. One guy got him from behind and sacked him on the 32, Will Thompson. Will Thompson, who slid around and came up the middle. And a big sack and a big loss. A loss of about eight yards from the 41 back to the 33. That's his second of the night and Georgia's fourth sack. Again, strong pressure from that defensive front. Not only up the middle, but from the ends, as evidenced by Will Thompson, who plays defensive end. And LSU in a punting situation. Chris Jackson to punt on fourth down. We don't put a rush on. He got a good kick, good high spiral. Flowers weighs him off, catches a ball on the 30. And we'll be first down there. 37-yard punt, no return. Timeout, we're leading 34-7, to seven, fourth quarter. Ball will be on the 30. We'll be first down when they let us go. Shockley just came over to talk to Coach Rick. Shockley's had himself quite a night. And he really hasn't had to do a whole lot. I mean, DJ's just, he's just managed the game very well. We've only thrown 12 passes, and we're, you know, three-fourths of the way done here, and Shockley's completed six of those, two touchdowns. Georgia hasn't turned the ball over. Shock's, uh, you know, he's scrambled a little bit. He's had to dance around. He's got 10 yards rushing, so he doesn't have minus yards at the quarterback position, which is always a plus. He's just managed the game very well for Georgia, and they've relied on other plays like block punts and interceptions to help out with the scoring. Danny Ware at the tail, Sutherland the fullback in front of him. We only have one wide out. LSU's come up on a six, almost a seven-man line. So we're going to give it to Danny Ware, who tried to get out to the corner. They won't let him out there, and then they'll mob him on the 30 for no gain. If he gained anything, he got two feet. Pittman, the defensive end on that corner. Highsmith, the linebacker behind him, primarily stopping the play. We had some blocking when we took him out to the corner and from the movement of that ball we gained almost a yard it almost got to the 31 and that's all we're leading 34 to 7 we jumped in 14 to nothing quickly in the first quarter we are in an eye shock is underneath looking at a six man line again he makes some kind of a change as he looks out at his blockers 
And he's going to hand it to Ware. Ware found a little room. They're going to grab at him, and he's going to go down on his back. But out around the 37, he finally got five and a half, six yards. He tried to cut back up in the middle, and LSU had enough speed. Somebody grabbed his shirt and pulled him down. He went down on the 36. Got five yards. And now you got a big third down play. We're leading 34 to 7. Two long passes to Sean Bailey early in the first quarter. Dogs taking a little time in the huddle. They got 11 minutes to play. That can be an eternity. Shockley walks up to the line. Got one receiver. We're in an eye. LSU is loaded up the line, and we're going to run Ware back in at the tackle, and there's no room to run. I think he got a yard, and that's about it to the 37. They're bringing everybody up on the line. They figure we're running the ball to kill the clock and kill the game and kill the scoreboard. And so they just they loaded it up on a six, and they got backers jamming up right up behind there. Williams a tackle. Landry the free safety on the last stop for LSU. Ball is barely outside of the 36. Fourth and four. And we are in a punt formation with Gordon Ely Kelso. And they have Skyler Green who can flat turn it on. They have no punt return yards tonight. How huge is that? That's that because he Green's a huge weapon for them. Yeah, he is. He hasn't returned anything on a punt. Fourth and four. Tereshinsky went up and looked at the setup. Fourth down on a 36. Low snap. No pressure. He kicked it a mile. High spiral. Skyler Green, fair catch around the 22-yard line. Boy, did he get that ball up. Gordon Neely really hit that ball. Big high spiral. 42-yard punt. We had no return. It's still a big lead of 34-7. to I'm with Tyson Browning here on the sideline. Unfortunate injury. A couple of games back. But now, you're on the sideline on crutches. How much are you enjoying this game? Oh, you know, I'm enjoying it more more than I, I enjoyed the Georgia Tech game or maybe missing out, you know, a game before the Kentucky game or something. But, uh, you know, when we got a victory and the guys playing as good as they're playing right now, man, it would be selfish for me to feel, you know, be concerned about my injury right now when we do, we're playing so good right now, man. All right, thank you. Uh, Tyson Browning, he's happy. I can tell by the smile on his face, but so is everybody here on the sideline, Larry, uh, including Catherine Rick, who's pouring water right on into the fourth quarter. <laughs> 34 to 7, Georgia leading. There are times the television cameras find pockets of Georgia students who will all then mug real happily for the camera. There's a lot of empty seats in here, and unfortunately, a lot of them are red and black. Uh, folks have started, I guess, to just to go home for whatever reason. I don't know, beat the traffic, get out of downtown Atlanta, but uh, the students are still here, and that's good. Flynn, the quarterback. Carey is now the tailback for LSU. they got four receivers out. They're on their own 21, and they give it to Carey with a blocker. Comes out to the 25 to the 30, and we shove him out. Jarvis Jackson, the linebacker on the right side, was the guy that had an angle and shoved him out. But he gained on the play eight or nine, I believe. Let's see what they're going to give him. They're going to put it down where? On the 28, he actually gained about seven, second down. Dogs with a big fat lead. Have five defensive backs in there. Matt Flynn, the number two quarterback for LSU, puts four receivers out. Second down. Flynn going to take it, give it to Carey. Got a blocking, got a hole. He got to the 30, got to the 35. We caught it from behind, but he went down with the first down, way up on about the 44. Howard, the end was grabbing him. Greg Blue hit him from the front. And we pulled him down, and LSU's got a first down. 34 to 7. LSU up on their own 43. But you've got a lot of time. You've got nine minutes. LSU with Carey, the running back, Flynn, the quarter, and they're in a shotgun now. They have four receivers, three right and one left. 34-7, fourth quarter, snap. 
Flynn fakes it and keeps it and runs outside and got around the corner and got 15, 18 yards. We didn't get him down around our 42. Flynn came out to the left. He faked to the tailback standing next to him and ran by himself naked around that left end. Jennings and Blue got him, but it's a first down on the Georgia 43. 34 to seven and the Tigers are starting to move. We put Thompson back in at the end. We took Charles Johnson out. LSU with the first down. They're on our 43. Shotgun to Flynn. He's going to throw it out there in the right flat where they got a blocker and a receiver. It passes complete. We yank him down, but they got about six yards. They hit Skyler Green wide across the field. He had a blocker over there with him. Yeah, Dwayne Bowe did a good job of blocking Greg Blue. Blue was coming up to make the play on that. He probably would have made the hit, but Bo got between him and, and made a nice block for LSU to allow that pass to be completed and him to pick up a few yards. Thompson, Taylor, Oliver all in on that tackle finally. It's second down now and about four and a half. LSU is on our 38 and the Tigers are moving. We've got them down 34 to 7. They're in a shotgun. Flynn fakes left. Now he wants to run. We're coming on him. He's got room to run. We're going to chase him. That's Will Thompson who missed him. He got to the 35. He's going to get to about the 31 in the first down. He scrambles pretty good. Jarvis Jackson, the man that pulled him down. It's going to be a first down for LSU. It's 34 to 7 and you got a half a quarter. 7.33 to go. And we put Charles Johnson back in there. And we put Gant back in there. Ellerby has come back in. LSU is on their 31 and they got a first down. They're down 34 to 7. Got a little more than seven minutes left to play. They are in a shotgun. Flynn takes it and retreats to pass. We're coming on him. He throws complete to a flat man. Carry on the 30. Carry going to go to the 20. Fell as he tried to dive low around defensive back Oliver and went down, but he got across the 20 with the play. Got about 11 yards or so on the first down. LSU coming down and knocking on the door late in the night. It's 34 to 7. Well, this is their deepest penetration in, in quite some time. LSU scored its only touchdown of the game on the third play of the second quarter, and they haven't been this deep since that time. Adai is now the running back. Flynn underneath with the receiver moving back in on the right. Flynn back to pass. And they're going to get him and pull on him, and then he throws while he's falling down, and it is incomplete. He threw it out of bounds across the field. We were sacking him way back on the 30, 10 yards behind the line. Gant and Demario Mendo were on him. But he managed to throw as he was virtually sitting on the ground. And it'll be second down. And the clock now is six and a half minutes. We are leading 34 to 7. We jumped him 14 to nothing in the first quarter. Shockley hit Bailey deep and then he hit him semi deep. Remember this ball game. We fumbled the opening kickoff, but we recovered. That was very big, maybe. Shotgun LSU. On our 20 with a second down. Flynn going to hand it to a die, and the die cuts back in the line, and we yank him down on the 18. No, Vincent. That was Justin Vincent. He only got a couple yards. Gant and Taylor with the men on the stop. Getting a little bit late in the evening. Dogs heading for a championship. Who would have thought it with all the problems we had last spring? Oh, you finally said it. <laughs> Third down. They've got to get to the nine and a half for a first down. They're on our 19 right now. Flynn underneath. Flynn dropping back. Man's coming on him. He's going to throw. And he hit him. Touchdown in the back end of the end zone. Bo running right to left. Beat his defender, reached and caught a ball, and his foot still came down in bounds. And LSU has scored with a 20 yarder that he whipped right down the middle. And so it's 34 to 13. 5 38 to play. LSU gets a touchdown, and 
Colt David is going to try the extra point. Dogs act like they're loading up the line on him. Snap and they shut it down and the kick is up there and the kick is good. And it'll be 34 to 14 with 538 to go. And the Tigers are going to have to kick it off. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. LSU gets on the board for the second time tonight. They go 79 yards and nine plays. Flynn to bow on a 19-yard touchdown throw. 34 to 14. Georgia way out in front with 538 to play. Virginia Tech and Florida State are three to three. They're still somewhere in the second quarter. Virginia Tech and Florida State are three to three. LSU came into this game. This is their 11th straight week to play. They came in with a 10 game winning streak in domed stadiums and it never lost in this stadium. They're going to suffer their first tonight. You realize the liberty we're taking with jinxes and luck and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I feel pretty good with it. <laughs> McClendon going to be the single deep man because we figure they're going to try a little squib kick. They'll try an onside. LSU's Chris Jackson setting the ball. He wants to just squib it. LSU wants to get the ball back and then get more points. It's 34 to 14. No, the game's not over. It strikes. We jump. We touch it two, three times. And LSU got the ball as he leaped in the air on a 45, I think. Skyler Green, yes. Skyler Green leaped. Two of our men jumped and touched it with both hands up in the air around the 45. And LSU has recovered an onside kick. Now they get the ball back. See, you think you're just kind of coasting along. Remember, they got four touchdowns quickly on Arizona State in the fourth quarter. It's 34 to 14. Defensive coaches were signaling out to the defense a moment ago. As we get ready to start this play, and it's LSU's ball. Now they're going deep. They're going to run it up the gut. What are they going to do? They haven't got a lot of time, but they got 530. Vincent's a tailback. It's 34 to 14. LSU got the ball with a short kick. They're on their own 46. Flynn underneath. Flynn going to retreat. Wants to pass. Got some time in blocking and protection. Floats to the right, and he's going to throw a bomb down there, and it is incomplete. It came close to one of our defenders on the five-yard line. Blue than it did anybody. He went for Brazil. A big tight end. He had two receivers down there. We only had one defender. But he missed hitting him, and it'll be second and 10. 34-14. At that time, Brazil, their receiver, turned into more of a defensive back as he shielded Greg Blue from making that catch. Looked like Blue could have had an interception, but Brazil got in front of him right when the ball was yeah. getting close to his hands. LSU on their own 46, second down and 10. They're in a shotgun with Flynn standing back there. Flynn takes it. He stops. He throws to Vincent over in the right flat, threw it too high, and it goes for an incomplete pass and goes out of bounds. He threw it too high. Vincent was out there by himself. We had a defender coming up. Blue was one of them. Oliver was one. They were both out there. And it'll be third down for LSU now. They've recovered, as you know, that onside kick a moment ago. Now they're, they're going to take a third down out of it, but they haven't moved it yet. They're up on their 46. 34-14. There's still more than five minutes to go. LSU up to the line. They're in a shotgun with their number two quarterback standing up behind the line. He takes it, and he drops back, and he looks. And we're coming on him. Now he finds room. He stops, and we bat the pass down right in front of his face. Charles Johnson batted the ball. Got both hands up as he turned to throw to his left where a receiver was trying to come back and help him. And Charles Johnson battered it, and now it's fourth down, and LSU is on their 46-yard line. And there's still over five minutes to go. Skyler Green has come out. Bo, the big, tall receiver, has come back in. 
They need 10 yards and a first down to keep the drive going. Now they're going to strike deep. What will they do? Flynn's in a shotgun. Snap to Flynn. We blitz off the corner. One man came in. Jennings, I think, and got him inside of the 35. Kind of spun him around. Tim Jennings came roaring in off the left corner. So Jennings sacks him, and the dogs will take over and get the ball. Ball is put down in the 34, will be first down there. Jennings was hidden by the line of scrimmage and picked up his speed and started running and came roaring around that corner. Fifth sack of the night for the Bulldogs, first for Jennings tonight. George up to the ball on the LSU 34. Where Marcus Brown is in. Shockley going to hand it off and run to Thomas Brown at left guard. He got a hole. He got it over the 30. He got it to maybe the 28. He looks like he got five, six yards. We opened a hole at left guard for him. And Brown got at least five. A.J. Bryant has come in. Georgia on the LSU 28. Second down, about five, but it's a short five, and we're letting the clock move. It's 4.20 right now, and it's 34 to 14. Dogs up to the line. We split two men out. Shockley underneath. Backs are in an eye. Going to give it to Brown, who's going to push, and then bounce outside and get five and get 10. He's going to get 15 yards. He might get about 20 all the way to the 10-yard line. Three men wrestling him down. Melvin Oliver, the defensive end, was the first man, and then Landry. Brown still isn't up. He's coming up slow. Now he jumps up. He's all right. He made a pretty good run. Let's pause for station identification on the Georgia Bulldog Radio Network. We are first down on the 10 and a half. And the clock moving 3.33. We split two men. The backs are in an eye. Shockley underneath. Shock is going to give it to Brown, who's got a hole straight ahead. He went to the five. He got about six yards. We opened a hole right in the middle with Tanner and Jones and Gene Gillis. Oliver, the defensive end, was the first man that hit him. They're having trouble unpiling it. Now we run Milner into the tight end and take Pope out. And the officials say to stop the clock because they're having trouble. There's a Brown down. is down. Yeah, Brown is hurt. He's on his knees. That's uh, Gene Gillis. Is it Gene Gillis? Brown was down there talking to him, I guess. Dogs with that big, fine offensive guard down. He just came up in kind of a sitting position. Clock is three minutes where it stopped. It's 34 to 14. We're sitting on their five-yard line. We're going to try to put him in a standing position. How do you do that with Gene Gillis? Max is so big, they, they may need more people to try to help him up. He's a big fella. Well, we got him up. 340s listed at. He's standing up. Crowd started chanting Max, Max, Max. He's an All-American. Made the uh, coaches All-America team earlier this week as he comes off the field, mostly under his own power. Yeah, although Ron Corson, George's athletic trainer, was hanging on to him for a minute. Now he's walking on his own. So Max Jean Gillis is out, and Chester Adams will come in at the offensive guard, and the dogs will be sucking down on the five-yard line. 2.55 and the clock moving. It's 34 to 14. Again, we struck them real early today. A Shockley hit Bailey Long for seven, and a few minutes later hit him for 29 yards and another one, and it was 14 and up. Brown and Sutherland are the backs. We're on their five, and so we give it to Thomas Brown. He squirts into the hole. There's no room. There'll be no gain. Vaughn, the middle linebacker. Oliver, the end. Primarily on the stop. 
And we're going to be third down on the five. Brown tonight now with 61 yards on 13 carries. He's Georgia's leading ball carrier. Lumpkin has 37. Ware with 28. Shockley with 10. Those are the four guys that have run the football for the Bulldogs tonight. Pope comes back in at a, a tight end. Milner came out. Georgia's third down on the LSU five. We need four and a half yards for a first down, and we need five for a touchdown. Georgia puts two men out. The back's going an eye. And so we'll go to Thomas Brown, who squirts in, but they hit him right there, and he can't go anywhere. He's still on the five. Kowali, the linebacker, was the guy that hit him. Brown started out right and then turned and cut straight back and tried to make it into a straight run, and the defense just smothered him up, and we're going to be fourth down now in the five-yard line. And the clock is about a minute and 18. We're fourth down in the five, and Lumpkin has come in. And the clock moves at a minute and 11. 34 to 14. Know what we could do, Hondo? Hire a Dixieland band. Put it downtown on a corner for a week before the game, or at least for a day <laughs> for or a two. week. Well, we got to have some kind of music. They wouldn't have anything left for know, after well, a week. Well, the game's supposed to be played in New Orleans. <laughs> we could hire a band. Shockley underneath, fourth and five. Shockley going to hand it to Lumpkin. He's bouncing out to the left. He's fighting his way, but they got him on the four. And LSU defended their goal line with 36 seconds now left, and that's all. And the dogs leading 34 to 14. It'll be LSU's ball there. I think that may have been kind of a reluctant effort on Georgia's part uh, with the score as it is right now. Uh, these dogs are happy. You know, they, if they got in, fine. If they didn't, well, that's fine, too. But it looked kind of reluctant. Lauren, what do you got? I think Maxine Gillis was just shaking up. He'll be okay, Larry, but I know you can't wait. Turn out the lights. Uh -oh. The party's over. Jeez. <laughs> That's rich. Don't you realize how bad that sounds? Uh, dogs just got Rodney Garner with the old shower, too, out of the big water bucket. LSU's ball. They're on their own four-yard line, and our defense may not be quite set. We're in a three-man line. We have two linebackers. LSU with Flynn underneath. Time for a play. They got 35 seconds. He runs a toss sweep. He pitches it out. And Vincent comes straight ahead and got six, seven yards. He crossed the 10-yard line before we knocked him down. Verdon Wheeler got him. And the clock is just going to move now and choke it down. And the dogs are the SEC champions. We have defeated LSU 34-14. to We jumped them early, quick, and hard with a couple of deep-looking passes from Shockley tonight. Got that 14 to nothing lead, and for a while, everything LSU tried was just backfiring on them. Dogs blocked the punt beautifully so. It's a big win, and when I think of what everything we went through back in the spring, when I remember what they did to our freshman class that came in. 34 to 14, Georgia has won the SEC championship. On the Georgia Sports Network. You've been listening to the Georgia Classic Game Series. Today's Georgia Classic Game has been brought to you by Hotel Indigo. Visit IndigoAthens.com to book your reservation today. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Teen athletes need specialized care. Take them to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the only nationally ranked program for teens in Georgia. Georgia United Credit Union. Score your official Bulldogs debit card today at GUCU.org slash go dogs. Napa Auto Parts, quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa Know How. Georgia Farm Bureau, always the home team. Southeast Mortgage, the official home loan lender of the Georgia Bulldogs. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Cook's Pest Control and the Centricon System, the unbeatable combination for termite protection. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Zaxby's, stop in today for our famous fingers, wings, and salads. And by Georgia's own credit union, banking on purpose. The preceding has been a presentation of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network, powered by Learfield IMG College and JMI Sports.